Hello guys and girls, right here we are today, uh, I'm working with Paul from PH uh, Brickwork. I'm going to spin the camera around and he's just going to talk you through what it is we're actually doing today. Yeah, good morning. Now today we're building some brick piers, um, basically going to take a set of electric gates. Uh, so we've got a lot of reinforcing, uh, we was here yesterday, um, concrete in the pads, we tied up some steel cages, we've got some 20mm bars coming up that are going to be in the centre of the pier. Uh, the piers are going to be filled up with concrete. Um, this is basically just to strengthen it. Like I said, there's going to be electric gates hanging off of this. It's going to be a lot of weight, a lot of movement, and it basically just helps out keeping the piers as strong as possible. Now, basically, what we've come in this morning, concrete's gone off. Rebar's all nice, nice and upright. Now, what we've done is I've put a string line through the front. However, you can see that string line there, but we've got a string line right through the front. Is the face, the face of each pier to be true. We don't want them out twisted or twisting in. We want the front of the piers nice and straight with each other. So we put a string line through. I've then used a level, leveled down from the string. Put two marks on each pad and join the lines together. Put then a straight, um, using that straight line, then laid some bricks dry. So no muck at all. Just laid some bricks dry. And then what we're aiming for is then we need to get the measurement between the piers. So not only we're we trying to get the piers nice and straight with each other, so it looks right and true from the road, we then need the right distance between the piers, which in this case, um, the gates um, from hinge to hinge is four meters, but we're going four meters and 20 mil. That just gives a little 10 mil play each end for all the nuts, the bolts, and everything that goes in with the hinges. So we've now got four meters and 20 mil from brick to brick, so we've marked that now on the pads. So along with the straight lines at the front to keep them nice and straight, we've now got the measurement from uh, pier to pier. So that's, we're pretty much set out. We're gonna get some muck out and uh, we get the first course round and then we measure the diagonals. So the uh, it starts off nice and true and square. Um, basically with the piers, a lot of people, they make the mistake, they put too much muck in the perp joint as you're building the pier. And what happens, you start off with it nice and square at the bottom, and as you go up, it slightly gets wider and wider and wider. But all the time you're tapping it, the muck's slowly falling in the joint, and there's nothing you can do. Once it starts pushing out, that's it. You're taking it off and doing it again. So what we do is just put a little bit of muck in the perk, and as you build it, when you put the bed joint on the next on the next course, that will fall in into the perps below. That will help, obviously, fill in the perps, but I like to fill the perps at the end if I can. Um, that just means as we go up, you're tapping either sides for upright, all the corners, and then that just means that you know that you're not going to have that problem of the pier getting wider. So yeah, we're going to uh, get some muck out, crack on, and we'll come back to you in a little while. Stop, 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 stop. 
Well guys, I've been left to my own devices for a little bit, so I'll um, do a little time lapse and uh, just crack on with uh, building this pier. So, a little bit over the moon with this one, a bit scared, but uh, it's the first time doing the bricks, uh, but I do like being chucked in at the deep end. So yeah, I'll spin this camera around, leave it on a time lapse, and you guys can watch um, watch me lay some bricks, man. Woo! -hoo. Face while he's looking back, mirror breaks after math. When I hate, I attack. 